often on boats, a lot of things have got more than one name for the same thing. So let's hopefully just go decode what everything means on board boats. So what we've got here is we've got a vang, or sometimes referred to as the kicker, or sometimes the kicking strap. In effect, it's the same thing, okay? When we're sailing, as we sail off downwind, its job is to stop the boom from rising. The setup that we've got here is we've got a gas strut fitted to it. So when the mainsail's down, it serves a second purpose to stop the boom from dropping onto the deck. This setup's known as a vang. Without the metal strut, it's known as a kicker. Stack pack, or sometimes known as our lazy jack system. Basically, all it is is a bag that collects up the mainsail once it's been lowered down. This saves having to flake the mainsail either side of the boom and then fit a sail cover. That said, we still need to make sure that the sail's stowed away into it neatly, but it just speeds up the whole process of dropping the mainsail. Most modern boats will have all of the lines led back to the cockpit for ease of use. Now, with these winches, what we have in front of them are these clutches, sometimes known as jammers as well, and the job of them is to hold a line taut. So once we've put the load onto the winch, and then pulled the line to its desired tension, we can then close these clutches and it'll hold that line in tension. As soon as you step onto a boat, you can normally see that there's a hell of a lot of different ropes on board. But actually on board a boat, we don't actually call any of these line ropes. As soon as they've got a job, they're given a different term, and this term depicts what the actual line's doing. For instance, a sheet is a line that's used to pull in and out a sail. A halyard is a, a line that's used to lift a sail up and down the yacht's rig. We also have guys as well. Now, these are used as bracing lines on spinnaker poles. So, when we're thinking about ropes on board a boat, there's only one rope, board a boat and that's what we call the bolt rope which is the rope that leads up the leading edge of the luff of the mainsail or headsail. A yacht sail has three edges. Now these edges have got really quite obscure names given to them. The front edge of the sail is what we call the luff, okay, the leading edge of the sail. The bottom edge of the sail is known as the foot, the bottom. The back edge of the sail is what we call the leech. Now they're the three main edges of the cell that we've got. We've also got different names for the corners of the cell. At the top, we've got the head. At the outboard end, between the foot and the leech, we have the clue. And the inboard end, between the luff and the foot, we have the tack. So there's six parts of the cell that we have to remember the names of. And they all have certain jobs as part of the cell trim. Generally, most sailing yachts will carry two sails, some three if they have a cruising chute or a spinnaker. But the main two sails that are carried are a main sail and a head sail. Now, there's a number of different words and names given to a head sail. Sometimes they're simply called a head sail, other times they're known as a genoa, a jib, or a foresail. But really, it's only the same thing. The different names given to the head sail generally relate to its size and shape. For instance, a jib tends to be smaller than a genoa. A Yankee cut jib has a really high cut clue, which tends to be used in stronger winds. So a head sail, a jib, a genoa, it's all the same thing. I guess one of the more obscure names given to a part of the boat is the gooseneck. Now the gooseneck's the pivot point where the boom attaches to the, the main mast. So all it's doing is it's allowing the boom to be able to lift and fall and swing from side to side as our point of sail alters. So that's the gooseneck. As part of the reefing system, what we've got is we've got two parts up here. We've got what we call a ram's horn, okay, and it's, it takes that name because of the hook shape, it looks like a ram's horn. The next part that we've got is a reefing cringle, sometimes known as spectacles, and this is just this webbing strop that forms the new tack of the mainsail which then clips down onto our ram's horn there. So it's all about spectacles, cringles and ram's horns for forming our new tack line on our main cell. This piece of kit that we've got here is what we call a Genoa car. It's pushed forward and aft in order to change the shape of our head cell as we're going along. So the key thing to remember is that if we slide it forward it reduces the amount of twist in the head cell and if we move it backwards it induces twist into the head cell. 
So these Genoa cars 